Well, back to some more transfer news, and quite a lot of shit is going down. So we're linked with a second Leicester player, Dennis Giamfi. Giamfi, you know what? Dennis Giamfi, I think that sounds right, but fuck that right for now. <laughs> Rangers could face a Europa League fixture quirk when they would play three games from two different seasons across a two-week period as UEFA prepared to lay out their fixture plans on June 18th. So obviously that would be referring to... When we get put in the Europa League, we have to start like round two, is it or round one, whatever it is. But obviously, we have to start in the qualifying rounds, all that shit, all the all the different rounds before the, the the playoffs. And due to this pandemic, the game against Bayern is going to be pushed back right into that period, which would just be fucking. I mean, that's brutal. Like, I mean, I guess in a way it'd be good because you're going to be playing some shit team, and then you're going to be playing Bayer Leverkusen. So you 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 would surely be tanking the shit team. You know what I mean? And then. Especially if you play Bayer Leverkusen first, because then you'd be fucking up at that level. But that'll be interesting to uh, see how they work that one out. Um, Bayern Munich have joined Celtic, Chelsea, Lazio in a battle to sign 17-year-old Hearts fullback. Uh, he's still 17. What the fuck's going on there? Um, I tell you what, Celtic have got no chance of signing him if those other three clubs are serious. It's just the financial gap. Um, I mean, like Lazio aren't as rich as the other two. But I mean, they they would still be able to spend a lot more money than Celtic. Like, you know, what I mean, I I could definitely see. I'd, I'd probably say there's more chance in going to Chelsea, but I wouldn't be surprised if he went to Bayern because Bayern. I mean, they've got Alaba, Alfonso Davis. Do they need Hickey? Chelsea, I'm thinking of left backs. I mean, Marcus Alonso's pish, so I mean, automatically he would um. You think about getting him out, but Brewster. 28-year-old Liverpool striker as a transfer target for Rangers manager Steven Gerrard. Now, obviously Stevie G with the um, Liverpool connection. This looks like it probably would go like it down now. Would it be on a permanent deal or a loan? I'm probably thinking loan. More or less every deal we've had from a Liverpool um, from Liverpool a Liverpool player from Liverpool has been um, a loan. I mean, Flanagan, he wasn't actually playing for Liverpool, like, was he? So, he could, wait, actually, where was Flanagan when we bought him? Was it just for free? My note was for free, but where was he playing before? Like, I remember Liverpool just released him or something, but... Um, Barisic has returned to Glasgow for 14 days of quarantine. Hearts are set to support Rangers' alternative league construction, which is 14, 14, 18. Obviously, Hearts would. I mean, the fucking prevents him getting relegated. The need looked at, man. If they uh, didn't, but there's the new, there's the guy that we could be getting from the other guy from Leicester. Not much to say about it, um, and I couldn't really care less about the bottom three bits of news there. I like, but will we bring in the guy from Leicester, Dennis Guamfi, or will we bring in or Brewster, or will we bring in both? You know what I mean? Um, like I'm not so against loan deals, but like, see, signing Dykes for two million, like two million to us is like two hundred million to like fucking. Man City, you get you get me like so. Well, two hundred million is probably nothing to City, but you get my point. I don't know. I'd rather just bring in a guy on Liverpool from London, sign Dykes. That's just my opinion um, on the matter. But will Brewster join? Will the other guy join? And will Hickey leave for a big amount of money? Find out next time. But until next time, <laughs> peace.